Welcome to Pipes Out of the House. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fit this genuine Husqvarna aluminium skid plate to a Husqvarna 701 Supermoto, although the process is exactly the same when fitting it to a KTM SMCR 690 or a Gas Gas SM700. First of all, we unwrap the skid plate from the packaging. We have the bag of bolts, brackets and nuts, and we have the instruction manual. Then finally, we have the skid plate itself. If for whatever reason you don't have the instruction manual, you can go to Google, type in Husqvarna Technical Accessories Manuals, then click on Husqvarna Owner's Manuals. And when you go to the website, you'll see this box here that says Insert Article Number. If you look back at the package in the skid plate came in, you will see this part number. Type this number into the box, click on Search, then Download. This will bring up the installation manual, and this will show you exactly how to assemble and fit the skid plate. So using the manual that came with my skid plate, I lay all the parts out neatly on the floor. Taking this countersunk M6x20 screw and this locking washer, we place the locking washer over the top, then do the same with the other screw. Then take the A6 washer and place it over the M6 screw, and do the same for the remaining M6 screw. Now take the larger M8 screws and place the A8 washers over the top in the same way. These metal locking nuts fit inside these plastic brackets like this, but we'll be fitting these in a minute. And these rubber bungs fit to the bike underneath the engine, and again I'll show you that in a minute. So now I apply lock thread to both the threads on the bracket, and then I apply lock thread to the M6 countersunk screw. Then place the screw with locking washer through the front hole in the skid plate, and tighten up into the thread on the bracket. Then do the same with the other screw. Then using a 4mm hex socket bit, I tighten up as far as I can by hand. Then I use the torque wrench and tighten up to 10 Nm. Turning the skid plate around, I take the black plastic brackets and I position them into the holes in the skid plate. I then apply lock thread to the locking nut and I apply it to the M8 screw, add the nut to the bracket and tighten up by hand. Then using a 10mm socket on my torque wrench, I tighten up to 25Nm. Then repeat the process on the other side. And it should look something like this. Now we need to place these rubber bungs into the holes you can see here underneath the engine. To do this, you might need a bit of gentle persuasion like I did. Now we need to push these brackets into the rubber bungs. Now I found these a bit tight, so I did have to move the skid plate up and down and give it a bit of a wiggle. And positioned correctly, the hole should line up with the thread in the frame. Then I add lock thread to the frame and the M6 screw and tighten up by hand. Then using an 8mm socket attached to my torque wrench, I tighten up but not fully tight. Then I go around the other side of the bike and do exactly the same, adding lock thread to the screw and lock thread to the frame. I tighten up by hand, then I use the socket with the torque wrench to tighten up but not quite tight. Once I'm happy the skid plate is nicely aligned, I tighten up fully using the torque wrench to 10 newton meters. And that's job done, and here it is all fitted nicely to the bike. If you're interested in any of the products or the tools I used in this video, I'll put links to those in the description section below. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. If you're interested in DIY, you can head over to my other channel, Pouse Around the House. Watch, like, share, subscribe. And finally, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel and press that bell icon for regular notifications. I've been Pouse, out of the house. Ta-ta, farewell.